So, uh, as an IS officer, uh, we are just a public servant uh, who is there on a salary. So, we are a salaried class people uh, to start with. I think it's more uh, to do with some recent glamorization that has happened. Otherwise, we are a very simple uh, salaried class people, so to speak. Yes, when you rise up the ladder, say at the level of collector, you might get a big bungalow, uh, you might get a car, uh, you might get some staff at your home. But uh, having said that, at the same time, you do not have the time to even enjoy it uh, or to take um, you know advantage of it, so to say. Uh, and also, I would say that uh, that house. Uh, is needed for the family to carry on with the uh, sternness and the long uh, hours that you put in in this service. It's a 24 by 7 job, so you are not to be found at your home at 5 p.m. in the evening deciding what has to be done for the family. So at least they should get a place, an um, uh, environment wherein uh, they are taken uh, care of and so that we can mentally be free of all these things and to, uh, just concentrate on our work. For all the aspirants out there, I would just like to say that uh, dream to be uh, whatever service officer you want to be. But once you dream it, be very clear in your mind that why you want to be that. Don't uh, just uh, chase it because other people is chasing it or someone else is telling you to chase it. But once you have decided that why you want to be, just put in your 100% and I'm sure there is uh, going to be a successful life lying ahead of it. Work hard, be very clear and do have that patience in you always and every time. Thank you.